Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this is Tech with Tyler. I do a bunch of random tech stuff. Um, it's been quite a while since I posted a video, so if you're not new here, I am sorry for that one year hiatus. Um, <laughs> it's been quite a busy year. Married, had a kid, bought a house. Yeah, just crazy busy. Um, but without uh, making any more excuses, I've come back here to kind of make another video because I just missed it. I missed you guys and I missed <laughs> all those great comments I get from you guys. So in this video, we're going to be creating an AI spreadsheet. Um, well, the spreadsheet's not really AI, but we're going to use AI to create this spreadsheet and it's going to be a Pokemon kind of portfolio tracker, if you would say. Um, I'm a bit of a Pokemon collector myself. So this is just some little fun project I did uh, that didn't take too long. And I'm going to show you how I did it. And basically what it's going to do is track uh, prices from uh, different from a website, specifically price charting, I think is what we use. It's going to use that to track prices of your own inventory of products. And it's going to show you kind of your profits, your losses and all that great stuff. So without wasting any more time, let's jump right into the PC and get started. So I'm just going to kind of show you guys a little bit of what we got going on. I got a basic spreadsheet here, all blank. And then if we head on over to a price charting, you'll notice that we've got our base set Charizard here as our starting point of our collection. I don't actually own this card, by the way. So I'm going to tell ChatGPT that I want a table for a spreadsheet. And basically what it's going to do is feed me uh, just some generic table columns um, and, and dummy data. And then I'm going to adjust it saying that um, I want to change some of the columns. And you can go ahead and customize this to how you like. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go ahead and paste that into our spreadsheet. Now you'll see that there's some extra stuff that we don't need and we'll clean that up eventually. And you'll see that there's a bunch of columns here that we can use. If we go back to ChatGPT, I'm going to ask it to scrape the price from part price charting. So in this case, it's going to give us a couple different options, option one and option two. Um, we're going to go with the basic web scraping. If you don't know what these things are, you can always ask ChatGPT and it'll explain it for you. Um, but you don't need to know these things. And that's the beauty of ChatGPT. You don't need to know these things in order to kind of get this to work. So we're going to go with option one. And that is import XML, which is kind of like a function in uh, spreadsheets. So in this case, it shows that we use a URL for the page and then we choose the element that we need to use. So if we go back to price charting um, and look at a page that has prices for a product, you'll see there's a bunch of different prices here. And in this case, we're going to pick one of those. So I'm going to paste in the website URL for this product and it's going to go ahead and make me uh, the code that I need to paste into the cell for the spreadsheet. If I go ahead and paste that in there, what's going to happen is it's not going to work because we actually haven't chosen the uh, element. So that's kind of the second portion to the formula. In order to do that, we have to go back to price charting, right click the page and inspect it. That'll give us the kind of code or the HTML, the markup for the page. And in that case, we can find our span by clicking it and that has our price in it. And we're going to see it's called the use price ID. So the ID is called use price. And then if you wanted to use a different price, you can do that by selecting the other elements. In this case, we're going to copy the entire element just to make it easy for ourselves by right clicking it, selecting copy. And then we're going to paste that in there and it's going to feed us uh, kind of like the formula that we can use. And in this case, it shows um, what those kind of like rules are to pick the right element. It's important to note that, so we paste that in and it actually gives us the price, which is awesome. But it's important to note that down in the future, if this website changes, this is gonna have to change as well. Um, so this is kind of like an idea to get you started with ChatGPT on this kind of project. Continuing, I'm gonna let it know that I'm in Canada and we wanna convert it to Canadian dollars. So it's gonna give us uh, a little more of the code to use in order to do that currency conversion, which is pretty cool um, that we can do this all within the cell, which is awesome. Um, in this case, it's not giving me the entire code um, that I need uh, until I scroll for, further down. And then now we have it there. 
with the original code that we had pasted in before. So let's go ahead and copy that and then paste that into our cell instead. So I'm gonna just highlight everything, paste it, see what it gives us. Uh, six, nine, nine, one dot, and that's a lot of decimal points. So I'm gonna manually do this and change the um, number of decimals. And then I'm gonna format it as a price. Um, for some reason, my spreadsheet is using Great British Pounds. Um, not sure why, I don't have a VPN on. But then I'm gonna go down and pick dollars and then it's gonna format it, format it nicely like a price. So that's nice. We've got our current value market price, which is the hardest part of this whole solution really. Um, then I'm gonna go to Google and do a currency conversion just to see uh, if the price lines up and how close it is. It's never gonna be perfect because um, it's using probably different markets to track it, but 699122, uh, it ended up matching up, which is nice. So it's it's pretty close. It's like a couple cents or a couple bucks off. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna choose a second product to kind of demo this. I'm gonna go and find uh, Evolving Skies Booster Box, which if you're in the industry, you know these things are crazy. Uh, 2,200 bucks uh, for this one, and that's in US dollars. We're gonna also find that same span or same element in the same way. Uh, and then we're gonna copy and paste the URL back into ChatGPT and tell it, let's grab the one for this one. It's gonna feed us the formula. And this is how you can kind of keep going down and doing a bunch of products quickly because ChatGPT will just feed you that formula over and over again. Uh, and it should work as expected. And if it doesn't, you tell it, hey, this is what's wrong and it's not working. And it should do the trick and fix it. Might take a couple tries, it's never perfect, but it, it is super helpful. Shows an error, but it's not a big deal. It actually ends up working. Um, and the price is 3000 and change, which if we do the conversion, it should line up pretty close. Um, you're gonna notice that we have some hashtag value text in some of the cells, and that just means some of the formulas are not hooked up right that uh, were provided by the an initial kind of uh, template that we got. So what I'm gonna do is fill in um, purchase price and make that a dollar value so that this works. Uh, if I go down to formatting uh, and then choose a number, in that case, uh, it still doesn't work. It's treating it as text, which is weird. Um, and that's because I think the dollar sign is there, but uh, I do fix that, so stay tuned. And if I'm going too fast in this video, please use that settings button on the video to kind of slow it down or feel free to skip back and forth uh, within the video. I'm gonna go put in a purchase price that is, um, as an example, whatever, we'll put three, 300 here, and then we'll go ahead and put uh, another purchase price for the Evolving Skies Booster Box so that we have data there. Now we got our total cost, current value, and profit lost. Um, we're getting a parse error because I think these columns aren't lined up right. It's not looking at the right data. Um, there's a J hashtag, which is weird. So I'm going to fix that as well. And then in this case, if you're having this issue too, um, you can go ahead and ask ChatGPT to fix it. I have a little bit of spreadsheet knowledge, nothing crazy. Um, so I'm going ahead and uh, fix that myself manually. And it still has an issue, J2, J5. Circular dispendency. Uh, I went one cell too high. J4, there we go. And there we go, we got a total profit and loss. And then we'll do the same for current value and total costs. And that'll give us our totals for those columns. And then our quantities has an error because I believe it's not looking at the right. There we go, right cell, and there we go. So total quantity to, um, let's say I had two base sets just to change it up. Um, there we go. And it's actually calculating everything correctly. Total cost, current value, profit loss. And we have a third row here. And we can go ahead and add a third item. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna change it up and kind of do um, a different way. Um, in this case, before we use the ungraded value, um, if you're familiar with Pokemon, there are graded cards as well. And in this website, luckily, it shows values for grades uh, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm gonna make it easy and do a PSA 10 and find that element and go ahead and feed that back into ChatGPT to find the price for that one. 
Um, in this case, it doesn't get it right off the start because partly because of user error, because we didn't feed it the right control or the right markup. Um, so we go ahead and copy this, but it doesn't end up working. And that's a bit of a spoiler alert. Uh, I am recording this voiceover after the fact of making the video. So we put in our information. We got the Umbreon um, EX, and then the set is from Prismatic Evolutions. It's condition Gem Mint 10. So we go ahead and put that down. Um, not sealed, that's for sure. Don't know why I was typing that. Uh, and then we'll put a purchase price for this. Um, we, I think I end up making this one a loss so that we can see the difference. Um, but we say we got it for 700. Uh, in this case, it's a, it's not a loss, but we notice that we're getting an error here. And the reason is because the element is not selected correctly. So what I do is I go back and check what's going on on the website. Um, in this case, it actually forgot the selectors ChatGPT, so I, I let it know, copied it, pasted it back in. Again, this didn't work. And this is a common occurrence with uh, ChatGPT. So you got to get used to kind of going through issues and finding out how to ask it to solve it. Um, in this case, it is still an issue. So what I do is I go and I take the element above it, um, which is just gives it more granularity of what to search for and I copy it and I send it to it saying here's a, the entire element for better reference feeds me a, uh, the formula I paste that in and look at that we get the actual value so that's great now we've got a graded card uh, raw card as well as a booster box we got sealed graded and uh, raw cards this is awesome so we're gonna put in a quantity of one and for some reason the formulas didn't copy down to the row below. So I just dragged that little blue dot down and that'll just copy the formula down. And now we have our uh, values there. So I screwed up the total columns. So I'm just control setting those to undo that. And what I'm getting now is these two columns, but I wanna make it look a little better. So I'm gonna just format the columns to have some color. Um, what that's gonna do is just give us a visual cue of what's profit and what's lost. So I asked ChatGPT, how do I format these columns? Um, it's a simple thing to do, um, but if you didn't know how to do it, ask ChatGPT. It's there to help you. It's your little handy helper on the side, and it's gonna tell me, uh, select the profit loss columns, yada, 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 for profit, and then format the column and all this stuff. So um, you can pause the video there to see how to do that, but I'm going to go ahead and click the column format and then I'm going to go to the bottom to uh, conditional formatting. And right now it just does a default of <laughs> everything being green for some reason. Um, but I'm going to, uh, so I, I didn't actually make the Umbreon a loss. What I did was changed another, added another card for fun. So we're going to go and grab a Pikachu EX. And I think this one is from, I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Surging Sparks. And we go ahead and grab that URL. Again, super easy to feed it back into uh, ChatGPT for uh, the formula. But we're going to set up some of the columns first, type in the name of the set uh, and do, do all that. You could even get more granular with this and feed the entire thing, the, the URL into ChatGPT and get it to make you the entire row, uh, which is also another thing you can do. Uh, I'm doing a little more manual work here that you don't need to do. But anyways, continuing, um, I'm gonna ask it for the code for the formula for this card as well. It's gonna go search the web, look at price charting, grab me that formula, and then I'll copy that over back into the spreadsheet. I go over to the spreadsheet, copy that into the uh, current market price. And then once I paste that in, we'll have, again, it is currency converted to Canadian dollars. We'll have that there. And we're gonna make this one a loss so that we can see our conditional formatting in the end. 
right now the column is just green and that's not really helpful because not everything is green as you can see there's a negative value so under conditional formats we're going to change the rule so that um, if the item is greater than zero basically we're going to have a green color and then we'll save that and we'll add another rule basically that does the opposite if it is less than zero we're going to get a red color so we choose the color click done and now you'll see that loss of minus 807 is now red which gives us an easy visual cue of what we're looking at uh, in the actual chart and that'll make it easy to kind of sift through and see hey what did i lose on what did i gain on and all that great stuff um, if we if we kind of like highlight the entire table we can also format it as a table convert it to a table and you'll be able to do things like filter and sort columns which is super helpful um, if you have a lot of items for sure um, but yeah basically that is the entirety of this video um, it's i didn't <laughs> I dragged on pretty long actually um, but this whole process took me maybe 30 minutes to do um, in real time. I kind of cut and sped up the video a bit. So again, if you did find this too fast, go ahead and uh, slow down the video speed or, you know, rewind it, fast forward it where you need, pause it, whatever you may need to kind of get through it. But this is a cool little project to kind of get you into AI and how uh, chatbots work just to help you with everyday tasks. And you can see how if you're someone at work with spreadsheets and you didn't have um, much knowledge of spreadsheets, maybe your boss asked you to do something on one, uh, create a little spreadsheet. ChatGPT would be great at kind of getting you through the basics and doing a bunch of stuff. So that is my uh, final send off of the video as my <laughs> camera light kind of turns off over there. Um, I really appreciate you guys for checking it, uh, out the channel. If you can hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and, uh, I'll see you in the next one.